I'm Justin Paperni, and today I want to talk about a series of text messages I received from a defendant telling me that his network had absolutely abandoned him as a result of his white collar crime indictment and conviction. Quick note, I'm coming today from the Great Park today in beautiful Irvine. I'm going to be watching my couple of kids on their scooters here to the left. So this defendant had sent a series of text messages telling me how his network had abandoned him and what could he do when he couldn't forgive them and he's angry and he had been there for him and how could they do this to him when they, if they were ever in trouble, he'd be there for them. So I remind him, I remind all of you, a successful experience through the criminal justice system has to come with a, a semblance of acceptance. You've got to accept you cannot control what other people may do. You have got to accept as a result of this experience. Some people may abandon you. They may let you down. They may disappoint you. Keep in mind, if you've pled guilty, you're asking others to forgive you, to give you a second chance. So I want you to give to others as you are hoping they will give to you. Forgive understand, recognize this may be new for them. They may never know anyone that's gone to prison. They're nervous, they're scared. They just don't know how to respond, so, so they go dark. I'm not excusing it. Again, I'm simply helping you understand the importance of acceptance, of recognizing what you can and cannot control. Also, I tell this defendant and all of you, if your network is abandoning you, maintain your dignity. What I mean is, it's great to cultivate relationships and to stay in touch with people and to articulate to them what you've learned and so on. But if you reach out repeatedly and they don't respond, move on. Some relationships just end. And you know what? That's okay. What I want you to do is maintain your dignity. Don't beg and focus on how you can bring new people into your network. I'm gonna put up a link in this video to where you can access the character reference letters that I turned into the judge. You don't need to read all of them, but if you do, you'll notice that many of those letters were written by people who came into my network after I got into trouble. So rather than spending all day lamenting over how people forgotten me and abandoned me, yeah, it was upsetting, it was hard. Some lifelong friends, of course, many of them have come back into my life and I'm grateful for that. And I don't judge them for coming back to me after I've had some success or been home for 12 years. Everyone's going through their own process. This is a big deal, federal prison. But as you'll read in these letters, they were people that came into my network after I got into trouble. And that's what I want you to focus on. If your network is abandoning you, maintain your dignity. Embrace the idea that you cannot control what other people do and spend your days focusing on growing a brand new network that will not judge you for some out of character decisions you made, that will not judge you for the worst choice you ever made, who will understand that you can become better and you are working hard to prove worthy of a second chance and a new record. So let me close by reminding all of you, if the network is abandoning you, it's okay. Focus on, who, on what you can do moving forward. And um, don't waste any more time living in regret. Create a new path moving forward. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found value in it, enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. And of course, if you like these videos and uh, you feel like you have a home at White Collar Advice, please go ahead and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe and healthy. Thank you. Bye-bye.